Welcome to our weekly walk back through the pages of hockey history on NHL Now, where the legends live forever. This week, three Hall of Famers, three icons for all time. On February 12, 1947, the Boston Bruins retired the jersey of Aubrey Ditt Clapper, an illustrious captain through the 1930s and a franchise cornerstone. Clapper's number five was the second of now 11 Bruins numbers that have been pulled to the rafters of their arena. Defenseman Lionel Hitchman's number three, the first in 1934, and Rick Middleton's number 16, the most recent this past November 29th. Clapper was the first ever to play 20 NHL seasons, all with the Bruins, winning three Stanley Cup titles and being named an All-Star as both a forward and a defenseman. He was elected to the Hall of Fame immediately upon his retirement in 1947. On February 8, 1964, Terry Sawchuk of the Detroit Red Wings established an NHL record for most career games played by a goalie. Sawchuk's 804th regular season appearance, a 3-2 win over the Bruins in Boston, passed the 803 of Harry Lumley, who had played for every original six team except the Montreal Canadiens between 1943-44 and 1959-60. Sawchuk would win the Stanley Cup three times with Detroit and once with Toronto, the Vezina four times, and the 1950-51 Calder as the NHL's Rookie of the Year. His 971 games played ranks him fourth, Martin Brodeur's 1,266 atop the list. And on February 7, 1976, Daryl Sittler scored, scored, and scored some more. And when he wasn't putting the puck in the net, he was setting up his Toronto Maple Leafs teammates. Sittler established an NHL record that still stands, 10 points in a single game, six goals and four assists in an 11-4 home ice win against the Boston Bruins. Sittler would score 21 career hat tricks and two of them came on this night. Three goals in the second period, then a natural hat trick in the third. All six goals came against Bruins goalie Dave Reese, but there were no hard feelings. In 2016, on the 40th anniversary of Sittler's historic night, the two men met again before a Toronto-Boston game. Lost in the goal night glare in 76 were the excellent four-point nights of Toronto's Lanny McDonald and Boston's Bobby Schmatz, who each had a goal and three assists. Thanks for joining me this week. We'll be back next Thursday, Valentine's Day when my friends on the NHL Now desk will surely hear me say something cupid. <laughs>